My role at Nelson is to lead the health services team um, and that, that team has physiotherapy, speech pathology, occupational therapy, enrolled and registered nurses and positive behaviour professionals. This is a wonderful opportunity for Nelson to extend its um, comprehensive services to a far wider range of people. For health services team it means that we can now provide services to people of all ages across the, life, the lifespan, um, giving them the tools and the support that they, they will need um, to have the best possible quality of life through good health. Essentially, it allows people to develop roles that are valued by society. So rather than being seen as a disabled person, they're seen as a person who engages in their community, who's a member of the library, who does their own banking, whatever the, the particular activities might be. Um, and that helps people to see beyond the disability and, and see the person. My name's Linda and I'm the Senior Physiotherapist at Nelson. I've been there for nine years and um, I guess I work part of, as part of the health team looking at the health and wellbeing of people with disabilities. Well I guess when we move into the community is where we, you know, we see the amazing impact of, of what we do and it's the reason why we do the job we are doing, you know, seeing the, the face of someone light up when they're in the water for maybe for the first time in a long time or when they're riding a trike that they haven't been been on for a long time you know so I guess it's it's going into the community and seeing people across the whole lifespan as well so we see people right from babies up, up until the into their older age so yeah, that's the, that's the great part of our job. Yeah, so Ben came to us um, and to live at Nelson about two years ago and when, when he came over from his family home, which was a farm, his mum did mention at a, a person-centred planning meeting that he really loved to be outside and he loved riding his trike. So that was something that she wanted him to be able to do around his new home at, with Nelson. So we, uh, they brought up his trike from the farm and uh, we had a look at it and um, he tried some new trikes but we actually decided along with the family to refurbish his his trike so he, he had some um, some changes to it so he, he got a belt put on and he got a back support so that he can concentrate on just having fun when he's riding rather than having to support himself when he's riding and um, and some foot supports as well so he was able to then um, you know go out into the community and ride around his local community and and meet people you know because he, he does ride regularly so that was a great great benefit for him. I think as a parent you just feel really comfortable to know that your son or your daughter is in a really safe environment. Um, no matter who they are, it's just nice to know that they're surrounded by people of their own age and people that honestly do really care for them. I've definitely seen Ben just blossoming with Nelson. I just see that he's, I don't know, pulled his socks up in all aspects of his life. He's keen to do things, he enjoys being with people, he really has much better eye contact and um, uh, rapport with people, um, he's just interested in what's going on and I guess he's just maturing, um, yeah, he's maturing. pathologists at Nelson we work with the residents to improve their communication skills but also to make sure that they're eating and drinking safely as well. So we had a, um, a request come through from Chris's person centre planning meeting to look at a communication option or device for him. So that was where it originally started and by speaking with Chris and the staff that work with him and finding out what motivates him, we found that Coits was the biggest motivator for him. So we looked at a communication option that could benefit that process and that activity for him. So we looked at um, incorporating the yes switch for when he plays Coits so he can choose whether or not he wants to continue playing or wants another round um, and really engage with the person that he's working with and playing with so he has that control over that activity that he really enjoys. It's a really exciting time for our Nelson Health team. We've had 
um, so many years of an experience of working with adults with disabilities. So to start working with children and teenagers with um, disabilities, we can, I guess we have a long-term view of how we can benefit them by seeing the residents that we have here at Nelson and how we can really um, build on their skills so as they reach adulthood they can become more independent in their home lives, um, in work, um, out in the community we, by getting that, those early intervention and, and uh, working with children in those ages we can see that long-term plan and put in interventions that we can let them be as independent as possible as they grow into adulthood.